What's up everyone, I'm Nikhil from 3D Tech and in this video I'll be comparing ASUS Zenfone Max M2 with the Nokia 5.1 Plus. Now both these phones are sold exclusively on Flipkart and they are priced pretty closely. ASUS M2 is available in two variants, base variant is priced at 10,000 rupees for 3GB of RAM and 32GB of storage and the next variant is priced at 12,000 rupees for 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. Nokia 5.1 Plus is available only in one variant with 3GB of RAM and 32GB of storage. Now besides the price itself and some similarities like HD Plus resolution and pure stock Android, these two phones are completely different in each and every aspect and give you a completely different user experience. I have already posted the unboxing videos of these phones so check that out for more information, specifications and physical overview. In this video, I'll just directly dive into the comparison. First I'll start with design and build. So these are the two phones and Purely in terms of design and build, these two phones are worlds apart. With ASUS M2, it's like a regular phone with a metal back with plastic strips at the top and bottom. We have been seeing the same old design way back from Redmi Note 3. Even the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1 has the same design. It's good and more practical, but that's where it ends. Now coming to Nokia, it has a glass build with a 2.5D curved glass on the front and back with a metal frame holding everything together, which also has a nice curve to it with a nice smooth paint job done to it. On the whole, if I just compare these two phones purely in terms of design and build, I just love Nokia 5.1 Plus in terms of how it is designed, how it feels in the hand, while with ASUS, it's like kinda okay feeling. So when it comes to design and build, Nokia 5.1 Plus is definitely the winner, without any doubts. Now that's all about my personal experience if you talk purely about specifications. ASUS M2 has a thickness of 7.7mm and weighs 160g, while Nokia has a thickness of 8mm and weighs 151g. On paper, Nokia might seem lighter, but when you hold both phones in the hand, Nokia feels slightly more heavier than ASUS. Now even if we ignore that, if we just consider holding these two phones in the hand, as I've told you earlier, Nokia feels much more premium and fits pretty comfortably in the hand. On the whole, when it comes to design and build, I'll definitely pick Nokia 5.1 Plus as the winner over ASUS any day. Now coming to hardware department, both phones come with all the basic sensors including compass and gyroscope. All the sensors are working properly without any issues on both phones. Now coming to the fingerprint scanner, once again both phones have it on the back, it's easily accessible using the index finger, but when it comes to the speed, Nokia is faster. Nokia phone also gives out a nice haptic feedback even when you use the correct fingerprint. So when it comes to using the fingerprint scanner, Nokia is much more faster than ASUS and gives you a much better experience. Now coming to face and lock feature, only ASUS has it, Nokia doesn't. On Nokia, we can use the smart face and lock feature, but it isn't all that usable. On ASUS M2, face and lock works really well. In good lighting conditions, it takes like a second to unlock the phone. And even in low lighting conditions, it works, but takes like 2-3 to three seconds. On the whole, this feature is usable, but I'd rather use the fingerprint scanner. Now going on next, these are the SIM card trays of both phones. ASUS has an advantage of a dedicated SD card slot, so you can use two SIMs and a dedicated SD card slot all at once, while on Nokia, we have a hybrid SD card slot, so we can't use two SIMs and SD card all at once. Now the lack of a dedicated SD card slot is a major con for Nokia, so if you're a heavy user want to use two SIMs and you need a lot of storage, then Nokia 5.1 Plus is definitely not a good choice for you. Anyway, going on next, both phones have support for dual SIM, both phones support dual SIM with dual 4G, dual LTE. Nokia 5.1 Plus has support for native video calling right out of the box, while on ASUS, we can't make or receive video calls right out of the box. We might have to install any third party application. So this is a small con for ASUS M2. Now coming to the display department, ASUS M2 sports a 6.26 inch IPS display with HD plus resolution with the new 19 to 9 aspect ratio and a display notch. Nokia 5.1 Plus comes with a smaller 5.8 inch display with HD plus resolution, 19 to 9 aspect ratio and a display notch. Both phones have the notch and the same HD plus resolution, but because of the smaller screen, pixel density or PPI is much larger on Nokia than ASUS M2. So on side by side comparison, display on Nokia looks much sharper than ASUS. Now coming to the rest of the aspects, viewing angles and sunlight legibility are equally good on both phones. While watching videos, color reproduction and color contrast look slightly better on M2. Now this difference in picture quality isn't that huge, at least it's negligible. So overall when it comes to display, the major deciding factor would be the display size. If you're looking for a phone with a much bigger display, then ASUS M2 is the winner. If you're looking for a phone with a smaller display for single-handed usage, Nokia is the winner. 
Now the camera department is one area where the difference between these two phones is pretty small. On the rear, ASUS M2 sports a dual camera setup with a 13 megapixel primary camera with f1.8 aperture that's followed by a 2 megapixel secondary camera for depth sensing. On the front, it sports an 8 megapixel camera with f2.0 aperture. On the rear, Nokia 5.1 Plus sports a dual camera setup with a 13 megapixel primary camera with f2.0 aperture and a 5 megapixel secondary camera for depth sensing. On the front, it has a single 8 megapixel camera with f2.2 aperture and 80.4 degree field of view. Now these are some sample pictures taken in daylight and well-lit conditions. Images from ASUS have a more natural look to it, while images from Nokia are a bit overexposed with saturated colors and have a much more pleasing look. Even in low lighting conditions, images from ASUS look more natural with colors having more contrast. Images from Nokia are a bit overexposed and slightly to the warmer side. Even the sharpness is slightly better on Nokia. Now coming to portrait shots. Shots from ASUS look a bit dull whenever there is a bright background but it has good color reproduction and has more details. Portrait shots from Nokia are a bit overexposed and once again look more pleasing. In terms of color reproduction, ASUS is more accurate. Now coming to selfies, they are significantly better on Nokia. Selfies from Nokia have better color reproduction and good skin tones. Even ASUS can take good selfies but color reproduction is pretty bad. Like in these pictures, t-shirt is actually in red but ASUS shot it as pink. So that's like a huge difference. So overall in the camera department, it's pretty much a tie. If you like bright images with pleasing colors, Nokia is the winner. If you like a more natural look to the images, ASUS is the winner. Now performance is one area where Nokia 5.1 Plus wins hands down. Nokia 5.1 Plus sports a MediaTek Helio P60 processor with Mali G72 MP3 GPU, while ASUS M2 sports a Snapdragon 632 processor with Adreno 506 GPU. These are the Anti2 and Geekbench scores. So just by looking at these benchmark scores, you can guess how powerful the Nokia is. No matter what task you do, whether it's opening a regular application, a speed test or even playing games. Nokia will perform better than ASUS M2. Even in terms of overall responsiveness of the phone, Nokia is much more responsive than ASUS M2. So in the performance round, we have a clear winner. Nokia 5.1 Plus is more powerful than ASUS M2. Now coming to the software department, once again this is a place Nokia really shines. Both phones are running pure stock Android. Nokia 5.1 Plus is running Android 9.0, that's NuGet with December 2018 security patch, while ASUS M2 is still running Android 8.1.0, that's Oreo, with October 2018 security patch. Nokia 5.1 Plus is part of Android 1 program, so it will receive security and software updates for the next 2-3 to three years. It will receive all the security patches and software updates pretty regularly. Now coming back to ASUS M2, it is running pure stock Android, but it is not part of Android 1 program. Even this phone will get software and security updates but it will be much slower than Nokia. Now besides the updates and software features, even in terms of overall OS optimization, Nokia is better than ASUS. So in the software department, once again Nokia 5.1 Plus is the winner. Now coming to the audio department, audio experience on headset is pretty much average on both phones and speaker loudness on both phones is also pretty much the same. Here's a quick preview. Now coming to the battery department, this is where ASUS M2 shines a bit. 
Nokia 5.1 Plus comes with a smaller 3000 mAh battery with a Type-C charging port and a regular 10W power adapter inside the box. Asus Zenfone Max M2 comes with a bigger 4000 mAh battery, a regular micro USB charging port and a regular 10W power adapter inside the box. So clearly there is a difference in battery size and obviously battery life will be better on Asus M2. For a quick comparison, on Nokia I usually get about 4 to 5 hours of screen on time, while on Asus M2 we can easily get anywhere from 5 to 7 hours of screen on time. So that's definitely a huge difference. Now with that said, 3000 mAh battery on Nokia is still sufficient considering it has a smaller battery and a very power efficient processor with pure stock Android. So Nokia can last you a day. But if you're a heavy user and if you want more battery life, then Asus M2 will be the winner in this round. So guys, to conclude, the difference between these two phones is pretty small on the paper when you look at the specifications and features. But if you talk about user experience, there is a huge difference. If you're someone who wants a phone with a smaller form factor, with an awesome design and build, latest software and security updates, and if you can manage with a hybrid SD card slot, definitely get the Nokia 5.1 Plus. Now if you are someone who wants a phone with a bigger screen, bigger battery, a dedicated SD card slot, then you can go with Asus Zenfone Max M2. Both are pretty good, as I've said it's all about user experience and what kind of phone you want. If you want my suggestion, I'll suggest you to get the Nokia 5.1 Plus. So guys out of these two phones, which phone do you like and why? Do let me know by commenting below this video and if you are planning to buy any of these phones, Use the link in the description, it always helps the channel and if you want us to make any specific video, tweet out to us with the hashtag AskGreedyTech on Twitter and we will try to make it as soon as possible. I'm Nikhil from GreedyTech signing off, have a nice day.